On new tonight, locals and visitors are weighing in on a proposal to tow the planned Baldwin Beach Express extension connecting I-10 to I-65. Yeah, a bill allowing tolls for the $200 million project has passed through the state legislature and will soon be headed to Baldwin County voters. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live tonight. Uh, Corey, you spoke to drivers about this idea. Well, Greg Kim, the toll extension would begin here where the Beach Express dead ends just past I-10. Some folks tell me they think it would be worth it, while others say they don't want any additional tolls. Soon, Baldwin County residents will decide if the Beach Express remains a dead end here just past I-10 in Loxley, or if it'll continue another 25 miles north and connect to I-65. County officials say tolls on the extension are the only way to get enough funding for the roughly $200 million project. If it's going to make getting around easier, it's worth it. Foley resident Gail Abbott agrees with officials who say the extension is desperately needed to funnel beach traffic and act as a hurricane evacuation route. And a bill to bring the issue before voters has now made it through the state legislature. It would help people to get up to 65 faster, and if the toll isn't too expensive, people would use it. But not everyone is sold on the idea. Already concerned about the plan to toll the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway replacement. I don't like that a whole lot. <laughs> if there's more money out of my pocket that I need to provide for my family. Officials say the extension's tolls would keep the cost on those who use the roadway, specifically tourists. The tourism has exploded. It seems like there are a lot of new condos and, and people coming in here. So maybe through tax money collected that way, they could continue to build the roads without tolling them. Others worry that over tolling would only hurt that economic boom by driving away tourists who don't want to pony up the cash. I wouldn't want to and I probably wouldn't move to this particular area. If approved, the toll authority would determine the cost of the tolls. I'm told this issue would likely be up for a vote during the primary election next March or during the general election in November. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.